hi all in this video let's talk about many to many relationship it's a relationship that is multi valued in both the directions so let's take an example of uh, uh, employee and a project so an employee can uh, work on more than one project and a project can have more than one employees assigned to it right so it's a good example of uh, many to many relationship so we are going to see around this but before that let me show you the setup so already i have created one spring boot uh, project so let me open the pom file so in this pom file i have couple of like i have added couple of dependencies so for example we have jpa uh, spring boot startup web so for this uh, i will be connecting it to my sql database so for that i have my sql connector then again uh, to generate auto getter and setters i have used this lombok dependency and the default we have starter test so basically these are the dependencies that i have included in my spring boot project in my application properties file i have defined couple of properties which are required for uh, a database connection establishment and uh, some specific to jpa okay so these are those properties other than this uh, i have created uh, two packages one is employee and other one is the project so under employee we have controller entity repository service and and same for the project so let me show you like uh, what i have done in the controller so i have created couple of endpoints uh, to save uh, to fetch uh, the list of employees be like all employees and based on employee id and to delete employee based on the employee id so for that i have created uh, a service class in that service class i have defined uh, these met methods to save get and delete so also i have auto wired this uh, employee repository so i will be performing all the jp operations like say find all find all by employee id and delete and all those uh, using this employee repository if i go to this employee repository you can see i have just uh, created an interface and extends it with jp repository okay another thing is the entity okay so i have defined this entity for my uh, employee i have this employee id which will be a primary key for this and i have another attribute called employee name just to have that employee name okay so this is about employee if i go to the project more or like it is similar so here also i have created some endpoints to save fetch and delete uh, those things in service class i have defined the methods uh, used by controller and in this i also have to provide this project repository so if i show you the project entity i have this at the rate entity annotation and uh, in this i have project id so which is a primary key and a project name okay so you can also use at the rate table annotation if you want to specify a specific name for your for your db table so you can do it like this and it's, and also these are getter setters are nothing but uh, uh, lombok annotations that we use to auto generate getter and setters so with that uh, let's uh, begin with our entity mappings so let me open employee and project uh, entity since it is a bi directional relationship uh, the many to many annotation is defined in both the entities so we are going to define it in employee as well as in uh, project but uh, always remember in a bi directional we have one owning side so in our example i am keeping this employee entity as a owning side so let's uh, do the configuration so for that what we need okay so for that very first thing we have to uh, use at the rate many to many annotation also i have to create a private set of project so why set uh, so the reason i'm using set here is uh, i don't want to assign duplicate project to the same employee right, right? so for that i'm using set so let me call this projects and okay that's it here let's move on to this uh, project repository okay so let's create uh, attribute of employee in my project uh, project entity as well so many to many annotation i'll create a set of employee i'll call it employee set new hash set i'll import uh, this set okay now instead of uh, let me rename it to something better like assign project assign projects okay 
okay so what i have to do is uh, in the in the project entity we have uh, map by so we have to define that we are mapping this em employee set uh, by which uh, property so basically it is assign uh, projects this is the like a minimum requirement to define many to many annotation between these two so basically internally what will happen now it will create a, a joint table between my employee and project uh, uh, entity tables basically where uh, it will have two columns one will be associated with the employee id which is a primary key here for employee entity and the other column will be project id which is for uh, project entity so by default uh, the default values uh, will be applied like jpa will take care of it but if you want to have our uh, custom uh, name to that join column and all so with, for that we can use one annotation called at the rate join table annotation so for that uh, let's have our join table so inside join table the very first thing we will define the name so name i will keep it uh, simple like employee underscore project Next, we have to define the join uh, join columns so for that join column we have to use at the rate uh, join column annotation and in this we have to define the name so this is the first column so i will keep it empl employee underscore id and also we have to define inverse join column so for that we will use inverse join column and in this again we will use join column annotation and we will define the the name so i'll keep it uh, project underscore id okay fine so again uh, we have uh, this join table and we have join column so this employee id hold the primary key of my employee uh, table and this inverse join column will hold the um, the primary key of my project uh, table so the, which is nothing but a project id okay so that's the uh, only configuration required for this uh, many to many so let's try to boot our application okay my application is up and running so i'll go to my database we have total like uh, three tables so the first one is uh, my employee so basically when i run employee i have employee id and employee name so same uh, we have uh, project in this project we have project id project name and also we have a joint table between employee and uh, project so for this you can see you have, we have employee id and the project id okay uh, let's go to my postman and uh, let's uh, try to save some uh, records okay so if i make a get employee so so right now we don't have any employee so let's uh, create couple of employees so let's so i'm creating the first employee as john okay so it is created let's try to have bob and let's try to fetch now we have two employees now you can see we have this assigned projects it's empty because till now we haven't uh, created any project so let's go and create the project so the first project i'm the project name i'm giving is uh, java project uh, another project let's say microservice project and python project so if i fetch total number of projects i so we have total three projects so let's uh, uh, let's go back to our uh, controller employee controller and uh, create an endpoint where we will assign project to employee so let me create a port mapping so i want employee id for which i want to assign then i will have a project so for this employee id i will assign the project with this project id okay so we are going to pass this employee id and project id as a path variable from our request okay so basically i just want to return the em uh, the employee of so i'll name it assign project to employee let's have this employee id and project id as a path variable 
so at the rest path variable long employee id and again path variable long project id so let me create a method in our service class as well employee service dot so i'll keep uh, the same name in my service class as well and to this i will pass employee id and project id let me create this method okay so in order to assign uh, projects to my employees so the very first thing what i will be doing is i will be fetching that employee object for my db so for that i will be using this employee repository so let's create that employee and we will be using employee repository find by id i will pass the employee id and i'll say just get so it will give me the employee uh, object for this employee id and also i will be uh, fetching project for that uh, project id so for that i have to auto wire auto wire this uh, project repository okay let's use this find by id i'll pass the project id we'll say get and i will have this project okay now uh, i will be getting like already assigned projects uh, from this so let's uh, so it, since it is a set let me create a set to make it simple set of project let me import this and i'll fetch from this i will assign it to okay i'll fetch from get assign project and will i will assign it to this now in this project set i will add my project and i will assign this set to my employee set assign project and i will pass after this what i have to call i have to just save this employee object so i'll click on save and i'll pass that's it okay and i will return this so whatever employee we are going to save i am just returning it from here let me tell you about one problem which we might face in many to many so the problem is uh, circular reference so basically what will happen is uh, so in employee we have this assigned projects right so employee will have project and if we go to this project entity inside this project we will have a set of employees so basically employee will have project and then again project will have employee then again employee will have uh, project and so on so this is called circular reference uh, problem because of which uh, we might uh, face some stack overflow errors uh, while converting the pojo object to json so we can avoid that so basically what we have to do we have to just break that chain right okay in order to solve this what we can do we can use one annotation at the rate json ignore so basically using by using this annotation we are just uh, ignoring this employee set from this project so now let's uh, start our application and test the endpoints so let's try to assign this uh, four and again try to set now you can see for this employee one i am able to successfully assign uh, this uh, project four so if again if i uh, fetch uh, all the employees here you can see for employee one two projects are assigned and for employee two we don't have any so let's try to assign some uh, uh, project to this as well so for second employee i will assign the fifth project and here you can see we have this now let's try to delete some projects and employees okay so basically you see we have 
project 3 4 and project 5 assigned right so all the projects are assigned to some employee now what if if i try to delete uh, some employee what if I, I i if i want to delete this uh, bob right so let's see if i can delete so employee id for this uh, bob is 2 so let's try to delete an employee and okay and i'll say okay it says 200 okay if i get all the employees so it is gone so that delete functionality is working now you see that uh, this project 3 and 4 are assigned to this employee can we delete this project uh, with id 3 right this java project so let's try to delete this project and i'll say it 3 and i'll send now you see i have 500 internal error right if i go back yeah cannot delete or update a parent row a foreign key constraint fails so since uh, we have that joint table right so we have this foreign key constraints uh, in that so hence uh, we are not able to do this but if you see we have get of uh, uh, like if we get a list of projects here you can see we have three four five and five is not assigned to anything can i delete five let's try enter and yes i can see 200 okay if i again get try to fetch this this time i will have not have this five okay because five is not assigned to anyone so there was uh, no dependency on employee so yes uh, we can do that easily so these are the configurations which are required to have a many to many relationship between two entities so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks